Hello! Today I will continue my Szechuan series with a very famous Szechuan dish called Hui uh, Guo Rou, which uses a, a pork belly. And here I get a big piece, about 400 grams of pork. And uh, what we wanted is a bit of uh, uh, width of the meat. The normal pork belly we get is really thin here in Germany. So I actually went to butcher to get this one. And you want a bit of uh, the skin, the fat, and the meat in one. And here is one. We put in our pot here. And uh, we put in cold water. And uh, here I have uh, a bit of ginger, actually quite a lot. Here we need about eight pieces to cook our pork belly. And uh, as you know, this is a Sichuan dish, so it's spicy and we add the spices later. Now we can cook the meat. Now we turn the heat on, the stove on to medium heat. We add in the cold water to cover the um, pork. We cover the pot and then we leave it 20 to 30 minutes until it's cooked. Wei Guru is after dandan dan noodle and uh, the chili sauce, one well, of the most famous Sichuan dish. And I think it's interesting that we eat a lot of um, pork in our but diet. We're trying to make it healthy by cooking the uh, meat to reduce the fat or and add lots of uh, veggies in our in our dishes. Now we have cooked the um, pork belly for about twenty to thirty minutes, and you can smell it. Smell the ginger; it's really strong. And now we can turn the heat off. Now you can see our pork belly. When you put a chopstick in, it goes through. That means it's cooked. And uh, the fat and the skin here gets a bit transparent. Then now it's time to take it out. We have a bowl of cold water ready to cool the meat down. Now, when the meat is totally cooled down and it's easy to handle, now we can cut it. So we cut the meat to 5 mm. If we cut it too thin and then the pork breaks when stir frying, when we cut it too thick, then we can't really stir fry it properly and then lose the fragrance. Now we have the pork belly cut. It. Now I can show you how it should look like. Here is the meat and a bit of fat and a bit of skin. This is how thick you want. It's about a quarter, a third of a thumb. My thumb. Okay. Now we can cook our um, pork. Turn our stove on to medium low heat first. Put in a bit of vegetable oil, not too much. Adding our pork. Now have a look at our pork and see. The uh, fat is totally come out and the meat gets darker, skin is transparent and you can see lots of fat. Now we turn our stove to really low. And then we will need to use one of the most ingredient, important ingredients in Sichuan cooking. It's called dou ban jiang. And you can see it's made of fermented bean. I believe, but it's also spicy and uh, um, it's actually also many people use it for dandan noodle um, 
in some recipe and uh, I bought it in a bag and I have to refill it in a glass but uh, it looks like this you can see the pieces from the bean and the chili now we need two tablespoons remove our fat pork uh, pork belly to a side and then we add in our doubanjiang and just stir fry it the other side so we cook it at the same time actually we need to cook this otherwise it has a, a raw taste from the uh, beans and the chili doubanjiang is actually salty so I, I wouldn't put any salt in it, but still put a one tablespoon of soy sauce, light soy sauce. While this is cooking, we add in a bit of uh, Chinese cooking liquor. Two tablespoons, adding more if you want. We will need a bit of a Sichuan um, pepper. This is the, for the spicy taste. A pinch. Can count the uh, maybe twenty pepper. Just for the taste, not too much because it's spicy. Also need a bit of a sugar to balance the uh, uh, spicy and the salty taste. About of uh, mm, one teaspoon. Now we can mix the pork with our doubanjiang uh, sauce and turn the heat back up a bit but still around low heat range and some veggies I use here is one pepper and uh, here is some uh, hardened spring onion here is three onions and I put in half. Now you can see our hui guo rou is cooked. That is beautiful. You can see it turns a bit red. It's from the dou ban jiang. And also it's a bit brownish dark color. It's from our, when we were frying it. Now we transfer it to a pan. The meat is crispy, but also tender. A good combination of lean and the fat meat. The last we can put in some raw spring onion on top to decorate it. Give it a try. I'll get a big piece. It's perfect. Mm, maybe could put in a bit more sugar in it. But it's salty. Mm, tastes great with rice. Hope you like it. If you like my cooking video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.